DJ and uh, you know put his foot down here. So I'm looking forward to it. It's like a cringy just starting a sheet, even though. All right, even though uh, DJ uses Fox a lot, he's gonna break out Sheik here in the Sheik versus Marth matchup. And I'll found the dreams about probably the um, best possible outcome for uh, for a random stage. Wow. Shoot out with the Ken. Sorry, we can uh, just waiting on something here. Wow, quick kill with uh, DJ only at 26%. And as I was saying before, I don't know if I got this out, but uh, FOD is a really good stage for Sheik, so DJ's probably really happy about this counter pick, about this uh, random stage. All right, husband's here, commentating with wife. Hello, husband. How have you been? Uh, good, good. Did you hear about all the exciting uh, upsets first round? I did. I heard uh, PC uh, got the best of uh, Azen first round, and uh, that was definitely exciting here. And same thing with uh, Isaiah and Chu. Uh, Chu has just been known to take out Isaiah uh, constantly, and I was—I mean, I didn't see the match. What was that matchup? Uh, well, it was—I uh, believe the count was. Three to one, or maybe even three. I was Falcon climbers the entire time. Just wow. three Falcon climbers Falcon the entire climbers. time. All that's right. interesting because that's what Azen does versus him, and Azen usually beats Chu like he just yeah. did. Yeah, so it may have helped a... seeing Azen beat exactly. Chu with his Falcon, and exactly. then wow, simple style ledge guards and uh, DJ at a familiar percent of twenty-seven coming to the next stock. That uh, F after smash combo is real nice. Wow. And uh, for those who don't know, this match is all about grabs. I mean, you've really got to be, uh, the person grabbing is going to be the person winning. Ken gets a grab off, he can capitalize on it a lot. Wow, Sheik nice up and B. Just have so many uh, combos off the grabs, and mm -hmm. the percent can just start flying. If Marth catches uh, the Sheik without a jump, um, in the way that she can just kind of chain through a Marth, but she can just do so many hits from the, from the throw. And I like the way DJ Sheik is so offensive off the ledge. The way he jumps off and gets uh, just right out there. I think that's what you need to do. You need to throw your opponent off to be able to do something like that. That's going to do it. Can at 56%. Plenty low. The jaw even here. Especially when Sheik's low, that's when you need to grab her. That's when you're going to get the best combos off. Yeah, there's there that up throw. And, and trying just, to get... Yep, and you can just keep the Sheik above him. Exactly. Oh, and a nice ledge. Wow, yeah, really nice innovative ledge guard in there. I think that's something we've only seen recently where the Sheik drops off with the neutral air and knows she's going to get hit, right, but just takes the hit, and it's worth the exchange because Ken can't make it back on. Marth just doesn't have uh, much of a horizontal uh, Sure, it's all vertical. B, so he gets knocked too far back. Whoa, perfect tipper match. there, which is going to draw the match even. DJ breaking free of the grab real fast there. I mean, that's definitely what you need to do. You do not want to be grabbed in this matchup. Okay. Oh! Whoa! Gets the Ken combo, but not quite far enough off the ledge to spike him. But it's going to give him the percentage advantage he needs. Wow, Ken back in control of this match. In fact, I'd say it's probably the first time since the match started that he's been in complete control. But on the last knock, it might be all yeah, that he's matters. He's definitely playing a lot more confident. That's what Ken usually has going for. Oh, him. no. Okay, first match for Ken. Wow, how's the DJ controlling it the entire time? Ken takes the most important last stock, finishes it off. Nice work, Ken. 